Hello students, welcome to Arise Talent. As you know, we are studying very important and interesting chapter that is life processes. It's very interesting to know about our life and the different processes. So here we are talking about the nutrition. And uh, in my previous lecture, I told you about the nutrition, types of nutrition and the nutrition in the plants. That time I told you that generally plants get their nutrition by the process of photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants, I am focusing on the word green plants make their food by the process of photosynthesis. Actually they use inorganic substances and then they form organic substances okay now we are going to talk about the mechanism okay we are going to talk about the mechanism of photosynthesis but before that i must tell you that what is the actual site of that photosynthesis now let me explain you Here we can see the structure of chloroplast. Why I am showing you this diagram? Actually, as we uh, all know that the green leaves of the plant perform the process of photosynthesis. Okay, so here it's the green leaf. Now I am showing you just a small part of this green leaf that it has the vascular bundle. Generally, it contains the different layers what are cuticle, epidermis and parasite cells are present. But when we take a small part of it here we can see this we have an circle here so if you are talking about this particular part so here we can see the structure then here we can see that this is the chloroplast already you have studied about the chloroplast in class 9th okay now let me explain you that this chloroplast is actually the site of photosynthesis okay now here this is the structure of photosynthesis generally what happens in the leaves there are the different layers okay but it has mesophyll okay mesophyll cells contain this chloroplast now what is the special character of this chloroplast actually the green pigment chlorophyll is present in this chloroplast so thus we can say that the main pigment which is responsible for the process of photosynthesis that is present in the chloroplast only and this chloroplast is known as the site of photosynthesis okay so here we can see this is the structure of chloroplast it has double membrane outer membrane inner membrane and it has thylakoid stroma and this part is known as granum okay already you have studied the structure of chloroplast in class 9 now let me once again explain you that this chloroplast contain green pigment that is chlorophyll okay and generally whole process of photosynthesis is occurred here now what happens when the sunlight falls here on the leaf okay so what happens this green pigment which is present here in the chloroplast absorb this green light okay actually what happens when the green light uh, when the sunlight falls here on the leaf then the chloroplast okay and even especially we must say that chlorophyll absorb violet and blue color of this spectrum and then it reflects the green light okay this is the reason it appears green to us fine now actual photosynthesis light process starts here only fine now let me explain you what is the site site of photosynthesis so what is the actually site of photosynthesis that is chloroplast okay leaves contain Specialized cells cells called mesophyll these mesophylls have chloroplast 
and this chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. So these mesophylls have chloroplast which is site of photosynthesis. Okay. Chloroplast contain pigment or it is also known as green pigment known as chlorophyll. This chlorophyll this chlorophyll absorb what this absorb the sunlight and convert the light energy into the chemical energy this chloroplast absorb sunlight and converts light energy into chemical energy okay so this is all about the site of photosynthesis that what is the site of chloro uh, photosynthesis as we know that the leaves have mesophyll cells Okay, these mesophyll cells contain chloroplast and this chloroplast have green pigment that is known as chlorophyll. This chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight and converts light energy into the chemical energy. Okay, now uh, we will talk about the mechanism of photosynthesis. Mechanism of photosynthesis. of photosynthesis generally this photosynthesis takes place in the leaf in two parts light reaction and dark reaction light reaction and dark reaction now let me explain you here how the mechanism takes place actually what happens when the sunlight falls here on the leaf okay now what happens this chlorophyll which is actually present here in the chloroplast and actually the part of this granum uh, this granum part of the chloroplast perform this light reaction what happens when the sunlight falls here on the leaf okay then this chlorophyll absorbs violet and blue color of it and then it reflect it as the green color okay and this light reaction what happens when the sunlight falls here on the leaf then whatever water is present here in the leaf it breaks down into the what proton hydrogen proton and electron and during this process oxygen is evolved clear now when this oxygen is evolved then this oxygen goes into the atmosphere fine so this complete process is known as light reaction and another is dark reaction dark reaction is the reaction which does not require light means it generally happens in the dark this is the reason it is known as the dark reaction and that dark reaction takes place here in the stroma okay now let me explain you the mechanism here we can see this is the mechanism of photosynthesis now what happens when light falls here on the leaf then this chlorophyll absorb this light and convert it into the chemical energy fine 
So whatever H2 is present, I told you it breaks and forms the, what it forms? It forms hydrogen, proton and electron, okay? Then oxygen is evolved. Here oxygen we can see oxygen is evolved means oxygen is released in this process and it goes into the atmosphere. Fine. During this light reaction, ATP, whatever the rest of energy is generated, okay, as I told you that the light energy converts into the chemical energy. Now, whatever the energy is generated, it is in the form of ATP and NADPH, okay. Now, what happens? Generally, this reaction is known as light reaction because it takes place during the sunlight. But when the sunlight is absent, okay, at that time, the other part of that chloroplast, which is known as stroma, okay, that part takes place or that part becomes active and performs the activity of the rest of the process of photosynthesis, okay. At that time, what happens? Carbon dioxide is used and the whatever energy was produced here, during the light reaction in the form of ATP and NADPH, that energy is utilized by that leaf, the part of leaf that is stroma, okay. During this process, carbohydrates are formed. Carbohydrates, like here we can see the out product is what? Sugar, that is what? It is carbohydrate. So, thus we can say during the light uh, dark process or dark reaction which is also known as C3 cycle or Calvin cycle. So, during this process the leaf takes in carbon dioxide okay and forms sugar or carbohydrate. So, this is the complete process of photosynthesis. As I told you that the output of photosynthesis is what? Glucose. Glucose is what? Sugar. Sugar means carbohydrate. So, this complete process of photosynthesis is divided into two parts that is light reaction and dark reaction, okay? Now, we will write about them. light reaction what is light reaction the process which takes place in the presence of in the presence of sunlight, okay. This is light reaction, generally it takes place, it takes place in the granum part of the chloroplast, okay. During this process, chlorophyll converts light energy into chemical energy. Okay, I told you that the chlorophyll absorb the violet and blue color of that light and then reflect as a green color, okay. So, chlorophyll convert light energy into chemical energy, water breaks down in this process, water breaks down and forms or breaks down into breaks down into hydrogen 
proton and electron okay oxygen means o2 is evolved this oxygen goes into the atmosphere this evolved or released oxygen goes into the atmosphere okay as i told you that the during this reaction uh, chlorophyll convert the light energy into the chemical energy so this in this process the energy is released in the form of atp and nadph okay let me mention next point energy is released in the form of what nadph and atp okay this is all about the light reaction now we will talk about dark reaction next is dark reaction what is this dark reaction this process takes place in the absence of absence of light means thus we can say these dark reaction do not require any light this is the reason they are known as dark reactions okay takes place in the absence of light so known as known as dark reaction okay in this process i as i shown you that carbon dioxide is taken by the leaf and this part of uh, chloroplast is known as stroma generally this uh, process or this reaction takes place in the stroma okay means the part of chloroplast okay that is the reason of chloroplast now what happens the energy which was produced during the light reaction in the form of atp and nadph it is utilized by the uh, part of stroma during the dark reaction as well as carbon dioxide is used and the product like uh, sugar or carbohydrates are formed carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is used to form carbohydrates to form carbohydrate means sugar okay and the energy as well as oxygen is released okay in the dark reaction and but whatever carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere that is utilized by the stroma part of chloroplast during the dark reaction and 
carbohydrates like sugar are formed the energy which was released or the energy released during the light reaction the energy released by light reaction or during the light reaction during the light reaction that is ATP ATP and NADPH is utilized is utilized in dark reaction is utilized in dark reaction okay so this is all about the dark reaction means in the dark reaction what happens carbon dioxide is involved and the production of this dark reaction is sugar means carbohydrate this dark reaction is also known as c3 cycle or calvin cycle this dark reaction is also known as is also known as c3 cycle c3 cycle or calvin cycle okay this is all about the mechanism of photosynthesis that photosynthesis takes place into two parts or the complete mechanism is completed into two parts light reaction means which is performed during the presence of sunlight and the other uh, part of that photosynthesis is dark reaction which occurs or takes place in the absence of sunlight or uh, this is the reason it is known as dark reaction during the light reaction whatever water is present in the leaf that breaks down into the hydrogen proton and electron and oxygen is evolved then oxygen goes into the atmosphere this is the reason how do we get oxygen from the plants by this process clear now as i told you during the light reaction light energy which we get from the sun so here the leaf is getting the light energy from the sun converts into the chemical energy and during this process the energy is released into the form of atp and nadph now during the process of dark reaction this energy is utilized by this process okay during this process this energy is utilized and the carbon dioxide which is present in to the atmosphere this leaf takes in this carbon dioxide and prepare carbohydrates okay this is the complete mechanism of photosynthesis now we will talk about the factors which affect the rate of photosynthesis or factors which affect the process of photosynthesis generally these are two type of factors external factors and internal factors so internal factors are what internal factor means the age of the leaf okay and the content of that chlorophyll okay as well as external uh, factors if you talk about the external factors then these are temperature okay so let me explain you about the factors which affect the process of photosynthesis now we will talk about the factors which affect the process of photosynthesis or factors influencing the rate of the rate of photosynthesis 
influencing the ro uh, rate of photosynthesis first of all okay what are they generally two types of factors are there external and internal external and internal so if we talk about the external factors then what are they they are the temperature okay then amount of carbon dioxide temperature carbon dioxide carbon dioxide concentration and water okay if we talk about internal then what are the internal factors that affect the rate of uh, rate of photosynthesis that is age of leaf chlorophyll concentration chlorophyll chlorophyll and the leaves anatomy okay leaf anatomy okay so these are the factors which affect the rate of photosynthesis so in this lecture we studied about the photosynthesis what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which green leaves make organic substances by using inorganic substances okay and generally this uh, the site of this photosynthesis is chloroplast okay which contains the green pigment that is responsible for the process of photosynthesis that is chlorophyll so when i told you about the photosynthesis i told you that the whatever the raw material are required for photosynthesis they are carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and what sunlight okay then i told you about the mechanism of photosynthesis and i told you that the photosynthesis takes place into the two part light reaction and dark reaction light reaction will take place in during the sunlight dark reaction which occurs in the absence of sunlight okay so what are the factors which influence the rate of photosynthesis external factor means the temperature which is available in the atmosphere outside the leaf okay if the temperature will be increases then it will affect the growth of the what growth of the leaf as well as it will affect the rate of the photosynthesis generally what happens if we talk about the temperature then generally uh, photosynthesis can take place at the temperature of 40 degree celsius but if the temperature will increase then the rate of photosynthesis will be decreased okay then carbon dioxide and water internal factor the age of the leaf matters during the process of photosynthesis chlorophyll and leaves anatomy so these are the factors which affect the growth of the or which affect the rate of the photosynthesis so hope everything related to nutrition in the plants is clear to you thank you